Hi everyone and welcome to my review of what I think could be one of the best combination drill sets I've ever come across. I'm going to divide the review up into features, power, on-site use, battery life and conclusion. Hold tight everybody and welcome to this week's PlumberParts.co.uk video. I thought you'd really like to know about this and also I thought you'd like to know how I'm rebuilding the studio, what I'm doing and what I'm planning to do. These are beasts and I'm going to be using my mate Jamie. We'll put them to the test pretty soon I think. Yeah man, see how it goes. Yeah. All right, cool. How many rollies are you going to have today, Jamie? I don't think you're going to allow me to have any rollies today. <laughs> <laughs> We're also going to be using Jamie next door, who's a kitchen cabinet maker, to see what he thinks about them, because there's a couple of cool little nooks and crannies on these tools. And we're also going to watch us get all this lot sorted out as well. Who doesn't love power tools? Anyway, click the subscribe, click the like, let's get on with the video, and remember to hold tight. Oh! <laughs> We're going to be looking at the Bosch Professional Hammer Drill GSB 18 volt slash 55. Oh my god! And also the truly insane Bosch GSR 18 volt 60 with Flexi Click drill driver. You can find both of these amazing drills and their batteries in our Amazon store. Links below in the description and in the top pinned comment. Let's just put another one of these on. Yeah, okay, that's in. <laughs> I don't usually use hundreds for what I do in plumbing. I've built my own house before, so you know I've done all this sort of stuff in the past. I know, know what tools I like, and I know what I like about power tools when they work well. So the thing that Bosch have put onto their products is Bluetooth connectivity, so we can actually connect it to our mobile phone. So Bosch have added a connectivity module that can slot into the tool just in the handle, like you can see here, which means you can connect your drill directly to your mobile phone using the Bosch Toolbox app. We all know there's a risk of kickback related injuries when the drill gets jammed in whatever you're drilling. But hey! And with Bosch kickback control, the system sensors can detect a sudden blockage and the motor will then switch off within a fraction of a second, avoiding injury. The thing about Bosch connectivity is you can actually tweak and configure the kickback control, the precision clutch, and also what I thought was really handy, how long the LED light stays on when you're doing some drilling, which is quite cool. The connectivity module will also warn of malfunctions and also give you a pretty good idea of the tool's operating history. So look, let's have a quick look at this beast here, right? So this is effectively what most of you would use as an impact driver and a lot of you kitchen fitter guys and bathroom fitter dudes are going to use this for basically your general tool. This will hang on the side of your toolbox when you go into a job. This will be there when you get a call out. It's easy to see the batteries on the back. You've got your LED light on the front here. I tend to prefer the LED light just under there because then you can sort of use it to look into gaps. You can use it as a mini torch then really. I mean you can do the same but you'd have to be like like that, which, you know, makes you look a bit weird. We've got two speeds on top, one and two, very standard. We've got our direction on this side here. We've got a torque setting as well, which is kind of between one and 15 settings. They're very, very similar. Um, up to 20 is pretty good. And then after that, you've just got drill all the way. But the major thing and the really, really cool thing is the fact that we can use the attachments on the end of this to turn it into a different tool. So you've got your standard hex driver that you're going to use to wang in screws or put any hex bit in. Then you've got a 90 degree angle that's got a hex at the end of it, which is really handy for doing things in floorboards and tight spaces. We've got the offset hex driver that's great for kitchen fitters and getting in corners. The SDS attachment, also the standard drill attachment. Every attachment can fit onto the end of the drill in multiple directions as well. So we can take this bit off like that and what we'll do is just pull that collar back and then that will release anything that's in there um, and look I can just put this on here like so ratchet this up like that and now I've got a drill very very similar to this drill that we've got here that feels a bit more meaty though um, but I mean look at that guys that is class isn't it I've got an offset I've got an angle drill. I can change it into an SDS drill. I mean, is that actually... <laughs> Blown away by that. Blown away that you've got all this being able to use in one little drill. That's design. Also, as you'd expect, it's got the standard holster clip, so it'll holster nicely in your tool belt, or if you're a heathen like me, in the pocket of your jeans. Let's go and interrupt Jamie, the cabinet maker next door, and see what he thinks about this offset beast, because I think that's definitely designed for him. Just so you know, 
Plumbers live in a sort of nice organised van, nice organised way. This is the organisation of a chippy. Oh, well, would you call yourself a chippy, Jamie? I don't know. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, Look at the state of it. So what do you think? Like, I don't know, have a quick sort of rinse with it. Shove it in the... Um... Oh yeah, that'd be handy for that, wouldn't it? Does that feel handier? It does, yeah, definitely. Is that dry now? Yeah, it is. But obviously... Yeah, it'd be brilliant getting in the corner there. So the drill's obviously not rubbing along the side of the carcass and whatnot. Brilliant. Any messages for the plumbers out there? Tall James, just quickly. Keep up the good work. Oh, cheers, mate. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the moulding is so good. Yeah. Got a lot of friends that use that as well. I would definitely invest in one of these. Would you use the Bluetooth function on the big much? Honestly? Uh, yeah. Obviously, once you get the, like, the ropes of it and whatnot, <laughs> definitely would. Yeah, yeah definitely. Alright, okay. okay, cool. I mean, it's the feature on the drill, so why not? Yeah, exactly. Why not use it? Okay, mate, cool. So there you go, you got it from the horse's mouth there. Jamie actually paints his own cabinets. So not rubbing on the side of the carcasses and all that is really important for him. And to be honest, he came in and saw these tools and was like, well, what's all that? And, and I thought, well, you know, let's get you on camera. He really did not want to be on camera. Also, he was absolutely gutted about the state of his workshop. But anyway, Jamie, cheers for that, mate. You obviously want one. So yeah, go to my Amazon store and buy one for yourself. <laughs> so anyway, let's go on to the next stage, guys, and have a look at the power of these units. This is the GSP 18V slash 55. Yeah, every other tool manufacturer that exists out there, please listen to me when I say this, but can we not just start calling our drills names? I just want to call this Derek or Dave. Something hardcore like Thor. Can you pass me Thor, please? Anyway, look, let's whack this beast in here. Very, very similar to most drills you're gonna get. You've got your hammer, you've got your drill, and you've got your screw with a torque setting on there as well. We've got a standard ratchet up chuck. Now, without you guys being able to stand here and tighten this up yourself, I've used loads and loads of drills with the click ratchet up truck, chuck there, with the click ratchet up chuck. The click ratchet up chuck. You find sometimes if you're gonna put a large drill bit like the one we've got here, you can press and stop, and the braking action sometimes will undo the chuck doesn't happen on this one so proves to me this is quite a good one now what I want to do is I want to make something that's a sound deadener and to deaden sound on walls a really good idea is to put a panel up allow as much sound to enter into that panel but then trap it behind it so here I am getting all my circles measured out making sure they're all nice and equidistant apart right now we drill holes with reckless abandon So as you can see here, I'm using the 12 amp hour 18 volt battery, which is admittedly a beast. It is an amazing unit, but I'm gonna to return to the four amp hour 18 volt for the drill driver. And I've got something to tell you about that at the end of this video that's gonna blow your mind. Well guys, you just watched me there. Drill one, two, three, four, five, six, 18 three inch holes. And it's still going strong. Um, still got four left in there. That's pretty impressive. So I can say there, honestly, no qualms at all with the power. We actually tested this against Jamie's tool set as well from another manufacturer. And honestly, there was no comparison. The battery set for these is ridiculous. So guys, there you have the world's first giant Connect 4. Right then, everybody, it's a new day. Jamie's here. <laughs> My lovely bench from last night's filming, slowly being dismantled. Now, what's gonna happen, right? Me and Jay have got to clad this whole ceiling and also the wall as well behind us. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna use my drill, all right? Where, where have you put my drill, Jay? Where's my boss drill? Is it? And Jamie is going to use his other drill, his other manufacturer's drill, and we're just going to be using the two together, okay? We're on a full charge of a little 4 amp hour 18 volt. I'm going to use the 4 amp hour because it's a lighter battery. Get that up nice and high, and that just clips into it. Oh, still there, right? It looks gorgeous. <laughs> we're going to use a lifter. We're going to get a lifter up there. We've got a mobile tower. 
The sheets we're hanging up are 15 mil thick, 3050, so over three meters long and just over 1500 wide as well. We're gonna have a bit of a struggle today. It's gonna be a bit of fun. There's gonna be some swearing, but there's also gonna be, I think, some man hugging. I know it's not plumbing, guys, but this is the best way for me to like review this tool. Uh, you're gonna see it in like real life action. And if it can screw up a panel like what we've got here, it's definitely gonna be able to screw in a pipe clip or you know, go into a wall for a boiler and all that sort of stuff. Um, anyway, I better help him now, otherwise he's gonna get G to the rumpy. Let's get on. Without making too fine a point of it, who do you think is gonna have the better, the better drill? What do you actually, you've seen some of it, but have a look. Tell me what you think for a start. The weight's good, I've got to give it that. Yeah? But the test for me is going to be if it's going to compete with what I'm going to be using. Which we can't say what it is. We can't say. It's not allowed. But we're, we'll put them to the test pretty soon, I just think. Yeah, we? man, see how it goes. Yeah. All right, cool. How many, uh, how many rollies are you going to have today, Jamie? I don't think you're going to allow me to have any rollies today. <laughs> <laughs> We've got too much to do, mate. All right, man, let's get on. Let's yeah. get on. Really needed another screw as well. Jamie, pass me the screws. Oh. Yeah, boy. Oh. The work was relentless. It actually took us, in the end, four entire days to get all this clad and done. The main issue being getting the insulation up there and also just working up on a ceiling is a pain in the bum. You're gonna see some fairly poor use of a mobile tower here, but not one person died in the making of this video. That being said, if there are any apprentices watching, guys, don't use mobile towers like this. And if there's keyboard warriors about to type in that you should use a mobile tower like that, just save your thumbs for Facebook. The truly beautiful thing is that Jamie and I never argued once. Hey, hold on. I'm gonna get a sheet on it. Let's get a sheet, I'll wear it over to you. But after four days of pure brilliance and sitting down on the floor cross-legged eating our sandwiches. Same battery. Same battery going four days later. Decent. Very decent. Done a lot of work that has. Beating James drill, not it? Yeah, you didn't hear me wrong there. A four amp hour, 18 volt battery on full charge lasted four days. I'm not even gonna clear up, mate. Jamie's drill, we had to change the battery on it probably every hour. This is going to be the shortest section because I think you know the answer already. Even the 4 amp hour battery outplayed any of the other higher amperage batteries that Jamie had. Really, really impressed. The one thing I'd say is that if you have the 12 amp hour 18 volt battery on an impact drive like we did, you're just not going to be able to live with that hanging on your belt because it's so heavy. I am going to be reviewing the whole battery set in another video and I think the 12 amp hour battery is going to be a lot better on things like skill saws and oscillating saws and tiger saws, that sort of thing. And having used the whole of this drill set with all the batteries, I can highly recommend that if you're doing standard sort of work, then the four amp hour battery is gonna be fine. The eight amp hour one is probably gonna be the battery that most people buy and use, and that is roughly similar in size to every other manufacturer's five amp hour one. Now, if the four amp hour is anything to go by, the eight amp hour battery is gonna be insane. And like I said, the 12 amp hour is just a brick beast but you're not probably going to be having that hanging on your side so there we go guys let me just say now the batteries are incredible i did drop and throw the drill around a few times as well and it still works now so when it comes to hardiness and all that sort of stuff it's fine as well so having now painted all the walls black and knelt on a nail <laughs> I guess that brings us to the conclusion of this review video.
Well guys, so there we go. After literally a week, 10 days of using these beasts here, using these products, um, allowing Jamie to get my, his hands on them as well because Jamie's like general labourer, he does loads of different types of work and all that sort of thing. He was really impressed with this. We were both really, really impressed with the batteries and we were both impressed with the power of the combi drill as well. I thought it was really, really good. I've actually got the multi-tool version of this Bosch Beast and I wanna do a review on that soon. I've got a load of racking behind you to build up that I wanna sort of put all my plumbing stuff that I filmed in there. So I'm gonna do a little video on that as well. Um, and it was great as well to get Jamie, who's a kitchen fitter and a guy who makes all his own cabinets and all that sort of stuff to use the offset tools and the specialist little bits that come with this, this little drill here and he loved it he thought it was well good so 100% very very impressed with this tool a slight thing I would say it's very very handy that it's got the Bluetooth function but really once you've set it up the first time you're not really probably going to use it again or I felt that I probably wouldn't use it again that much especially for the battery thing because Bosch have already nailed how you can see whether the battery has got any life on it. It's got a really, really clear button system on there. It depends what you're like. You know, if you want to know what's going on with your tools all the time, um, that'd be cool. I think a handy thing for them to maybe put with that is if you did have all your tools on your Bluetooth to your phone and they started moving far away from your phone without you sort of knowing about it, i.e. they're being stolen, that'd be a handy little thing to add to that. So Bosch, if you're listening, pop that in. That'd be really, really good. In fact, very good. When it comes to the SDS module on the FlexiClick, it's fine for doing things like 5mm plugs, 8mm plugs, anything up to sort of 16mm. If you're looking at 22 to 28mm and above in masonry bit size, it's probably going to struggle a bit. The battery on this, this is the same battery I started doing this video with about a week and a half ago and I've put up all of this studio around us in that time. So if you're interested in buying one of these tools, we do have them on our Amazon shop, so please click on the link below, pop over to our Amazon shop, go into the power tool section, and you'll find these beasts in there. There are a couple of other tools in there as well that I'm gonna be reviewing over the next few weeks, so by all means have a look at that as well. Please hit the subscribe button, come back for more plumbing tutorials, on-site videos, tool reviews, and obviously your plumbing disasters and plum proud stuff. We've got some Christmas hits coming up as well, so please come back for them. Uh, please like and comment below, guys. What's your favorite drill? And what did you like or dislike most about what you've seen of these drills today? Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in next week's video. Remember, if there's one thing you've got to do, and I think you know what that is. Assault time! Yeah!